the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football. On the ground, this is Woodhead. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Javon Curse in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Here we go on fourth down with Bortles. Surveying the field. And he finds his man, Kamar Aiken. Give him 23 yards on the pickup. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. They come up in an offset eye. Now a play fake here on first down. And this one complete to Martellus Bennett. There goes Martellus Bennett. Touchdown, Washington. Martellus Bennett, 59 yards. And the Redskins have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Wake able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gauden, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. On first down, Bortles. And complete on the right side to Bennett. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. Oh, 
And the Redskins scoop it. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that'll change the game? And that may have been one that just did. The new acquisition, Martellus Bennett, the intended target. And it's second down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Kamar Aiken with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Nolan Carroll. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So out now come the Redskins. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be Into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. And it looks like this will likely be the last play before we hit the two-minute warning. Let's see if they can sneak one more good play in before the two-minute signal. So Dalton now, buying time to his left. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. They send Thomas out to the right by himself. Now Dalton. And this is going to be incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that brings up fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. And quickly, they get to the line. They go play action here on first down. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Passing again, Dalton on second and 10. Left side here to Sanders. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Dalton off play action. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects it. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while it'll hurt their team, 
it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Bortles now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On second down, here's Bortles. On the screen, this is Woodhead. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing his Bortles on third down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 35-yard line. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make... And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Doug Baldwin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. And he'll bang that one through. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Play action here with Dalton. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And they're going to speed things up here. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Three yards to go here on second down. Snap came at one. Now here's Dalton. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now, he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. They look to throw on third with Dalton. Got a man. He finds Sanders. They give him 12 yards and a first down. That was a nice completion on an out route, and those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. 
They go play action here on first down. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. And here comes play number six on this drive. They send Thomas out to the right by himself. Second and ten. Dalton once more. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Wake in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, Washington. Tyreek Hill, 98 yards. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. I think we probably ought to avoid the tape review of this one, right? I mean, we don't want to sit in there and listen to what his teammates are going to say. He went that far and didn't score a touchdown. Well, it's one where if they win, they poke the bear a little bit. If you don't win, it could be a sore subject. And the Cardinals hands team able to secure the football. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively see if they stay on the ground for second down portals to throw on second down strong grabs it over the middle and able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Marcus Golden in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Now Bortles throwing on second down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. Throwing his Bortles on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. 
but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Fielded at the 20. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Cardinals. Hey, rookie, that's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Yeah, welcome to the party. We saw him fielding those punts before the game, and he just had a little bit of a look in his eye, didn't he? He did. He was a confident young man, and now we know why. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll start on the ground here with Woodhead. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Four down, four down. Here we go now. On second down, here's Bortles. And Aiken with it over the middle. That catch good for five. It's third down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Again, they'll throw with Bortles. To the right side to Aiken. 20! And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And that one results in 35 yards. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. Now it's Woodhead. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. The defensive tackle, Kyle Williams, there for the stop. And the defense in desperate need of a stop. They have to get off the field and get the ball back to their offense if they want a chance. They run with Woodhead. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves them with a third down and eight. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the gun on third down, Bortles. And he finds his man, Kamar Aiken. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Kamar Aiken from 10 yards out. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. Bortles going to look to throw. And that's incomplete. Kamar Aiken, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Ooh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Bortles to throw. And look at this. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. A great read, and it's picked off. The 30, 10, 5, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Charles, we've seen them target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. But they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick.
And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. Touchdown, Washington! Danny Woodhead, 39 yards. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare uh, them to do that? I was going to ask that? you, what maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. They send Thomas out to the right by himself. They'll look to throw, being chased out left. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll make it second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got... Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers. And on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. Got a man. He finds Sanders. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity, just unable to cash in at the end. 